What's up for Trail Fam? Right now I'm in Vancouver and for this compilation video, I'm gonna be showing you tons of shots from all these different bars and restaurants all over Vancouver, Canada. Zealand Oak Baltic Porter. Excellent, by the way. And the cool thing is, this one is actually from uh, New Westminster, and I was just here yesterday on the Supernatural TV show set. Very coincidental. <laughs> Yeah. So. Ooh, that one's good. It's almost a bit fruity, actually. Ooh, wow. A bit fruity, with almost a little bit of like cinnamon and ginger aftertaste. This one's really good. All right, so next up, we have Pass Progressive. This is actually their flagship beer. So, cheers. That is incredible. It is a, uh, a dry hop pale ale, and it's super smooth. Surprisingly, it's 7%, but it's incredibly smooth. Last, but definitely not least, we have the Killjoy. Probably the most interesting game out of any of these, and this is an export stout at 6.5%. Wow. Honestly, probably the smoothest beer I've ever had. It's actually incredibly smooth, really, really tasteful, really good style.
love the restaurants and bars in Vancouver. I will say that for this video, I really want to give you the highlights of my favorite ones. You know, there was a bunch of bars and restaurants and places I went to that some of them I just wasn't the biggest fan of or some of them maybe weren't that memorable. So for this video, obviously, I want to show you all the best ones I went to. In addition, I will say, I didn't really include any like nightclubs or stuff like that. There's a bunch of nightclubs and establishments, specifically on Granville Street in downtown Vancouver. Didn't want to include any of those because for this video, I really want to focus on like restaurants and like dive bars, kind of put them in the same category. Now, the main question I've gotten, you know, maybe you have the same question is, what was your favorite? Of all the main ones, that you went to in Vancouver, what was your favorite? It's tough to say because also there's so many amazing ones I went to, but if I had to pick one, honestly, I'd probably go with Sing Sing. They mainly advertise pho, beer, and pizza. I shouldn't try any of their pizza, mainly just their pho, but I love the fact that their bowls were huge, tons of food and really, really good. In addition, their beer selection was amazing. So there's a good establishment that if you want to go there in pregame, if you want to go there and spend your entire night there, if you want to go there for just food, you kind of have this unique versatility within the restaurant and the establishment that you could easily do that. In addition, I will say that I actually had two of the best burgers I've ever had in my entire life in Vancouver. The first was at Catch 122 and the second was at Burger Heaven. Being honest, I can't really exactly say which one was better. You know, they're very different. At Burger Heaven, I had the barbecue burger, which was unbelievable. And at Catch 122, I had more the breakfast burger. Again, also unbelievable. So it's cool that in one city and one, you know, trip that I went when going to Vancouver, I just happened to have two of the best burgers ever. All the food that I tried in Vancouver, honestly, was super unique. And in addition, Happy Lamb, the Mongolian hot pot restaurant, was super unique as well. You know, basically cooking the food in front of you and, you know, trying all these different dishes and foods and you know basically things from all around the world super unique as well you know being honest when it comes to vancouver both of the bars and obviously the restaurants there was so much versatility within that city that i really really enjoyed so finishing off this video i want to answer one last question that i got and that is what was your favorite bar and it's tough again because there's so many good ones and all that kind of stuff i think it would be a tie between two depending on the mood and what kind of crowd i want the first i loved cammy's cammy's has a super open area a bunch of games as well. A bit of a younger crowd, I will say, but I love bars that have a very open area. It's really cool to see that because obviously a lot of times in bars and clubs, uh, things are really packed, but in Cambys, they have this huge open area that I really enjoyed that kind of openness to basically hang out, talk with people, drink, play some games. It was basically a bunch of room for you to basically just relax. The second place, and again, I'd say a tie between these two, was the Blarney Stone. This is the one that is most notorious for, say, Paddy's Day in Vancouver. And the Blarney Stone, super Irish feel. They also have a lot of live music, specifically live, you know, Irish and Celtic music. And I love the Blarney Stone, you know. I, I will say as well, a bit of an older crowd as well as what I noticed. So again, between those two, it'd be tough to say. Again, I equally enjoyed both. But it depends on my vibe and everything. But overall, I'm telling you, when it comes to Vancouver, I was blown away by how amazing the bars and the restaurants were.